This is going to be a step-by-step -step tutorial to help you set up your Facebook business page. So the first thing you're going to need to do is log on to Facebook and you should have something that looks like a news feed just like this. And what you can do to get to the create a page option in Facebook is either on this left side column find where it says pages and right across from that click on more. And then you have this option right in the top here to create a page. And then you should have a screen that looks just like this here. Or what you can do at any point in Facebook after you've logged in is go up in this browser bar up here and type in www.facebook.com forward slash pages forward slash create. And that's going to take you once again just to this exact same page. So what we're going to want to do is click on local business to get our page started. Now there's a reason that I didn't go with company or organization um, and most of that has to do with SEO and the options these pages have. Uh, the local place has the option to check in and a couple more that make your page easier to find. So that's why we're going to go with that one today. Then you're going to choose your category. For everyone, this will be real estate. And we already made a video on naming your business page. So if you haven't seen that yet, make sure you watch that before you actually name your page on here. Um, if you're just getting in the process and want to get your page set up, you can do that and then watch the video on how to name your page later. So I'm just going to put in test page here. And you're going to have to enter your street address as well as your state. And make sure when you're entering your state, you don't just type in the whole thing that you actually select from these drop downs you see appearing here. If you just type out the whole thing, it's not going to let you make the page when you try to hit create page. Let's make sure that you select from one of these drop downs. And once you have all this information put in here, you can check this box to agree to Facebook pages terms. And you can click on get started. And now what it's going to do is ask you to add some more categories to your page here. So if you want to get a little bit more specific about what you do, if you're a short sales realtor or if you're a real estate agent specifically, you can add these subcategories. You can add up to four here. Um, it's also asking you for a brief description of your page. You don't have to put too much thought and detail into this right now. I'd recommend coming it back to us later after your page is set up. That way you can have some more time to kind of think about this. If you have a website outside of Facebook, you can actually go and put that in just right here. And then down here, you're going to want to make sure that you check yes to both of these. So it's just basically saying that your business is a real place and that you are officially representing your business on Facebook. So after you check both of those yes, make sure you click on Save Info. And it's going to ask you to upload a cover photo from your computer. I'm not going to do this right now. Uh, you can also import the photos from your website if you'd rather do that instead. Your cover photo has to be at least 180 by 180 pixels or it won't let you upload it. So make sure that you do that. This is also something you can come back and do later after you get your page set up. So I wouldn't worry about this right now. So I'm just going to skip right through it. And now your page is actually all set up. So you have a page on Facebook now. Congratulations. And it's just going to kind of take you through a little tour of your page to help get you a little bit more acquainted with what it can do and what it does. So it's going to ask you to like your page first. It's going to ask you to share something on your page since you just posted it up here. And then there you have it. Your page is all set up. 